Right, let's have a bit of an update on where we are with the Kazon Raider. Uh, since last time, we've just been doing lots of drilling and cutting out bits. Um, I said I was going to use the decals to, as a template for the windows, but that didn't work out very well. They didn't lay down. Uh, they were highly inaccurate to <laughs> the actual footage. I've watched lots of Voyager. This last week so I am um, got my sharpie out watching Voyager mark them out myself and drill them uh, maybe a little bit to eaten up on some of them but quite happy and um, we cut out the parts for the engines uh, as we can see here um, I'll explain the pegs. Uh, the pegs are a money saving tip. You might uh, have seen a lot of people use um, little clamps to hold models together. Them little clamps are the cheapest I can find, 50p each. I found these in my local Poundland, 36 for a quid, and they do exactly the same job. Um, another thing I found in Poundland, uh, in the makeup section, nail files, double sided, coarse and fine, um, 40 for a pound. The cheapest I've found these on eBay for modelling supplies is 60p each. Save yourself a fortune with these and last quite a lot of models. Um, most of the next thing I've got to do is washing this model off um, and then we start light blocking. Light blocking will be painting the inside surfaces black and then a coat of white gloss because I want the LEDs to reflect around so we'll get a nice even spread hopefully. Um, there's one other thing I just want to show you from an episode of Voyager I noticed. In the episode Manoeuvres, if we notice this bit is all lit up. Um, I haven't noticed that lit before, so I'll show you the bit on the model that I intend to cut out. I've got to pl replace it with clear styrene and a yellow LED behind. It's this piece, and you can see where I've marked black. That all needs to be cut out. Um, I've done it on the other side, so I'll show you exactly what I mean. Right, on, on the other side, I've just got it tacked in at the moment, but there's a clear piece of styrene there. So that'll all be lit up yellow. Um, we also forgot to say have cut out all these sections here. Um, I've just got a very rough mock-up of one of them with some clear spruce in. Uh, so I can show you roughly if it's dark enough in here what the lighting will be like just a second while I turn lights off. So I've got quite a nice orange light coming from that. Uh, I got the orange by dipping one of my little three mil LEDs in clear orange, letting it dry. Dipped it again, let it dry again, and it's come out quite nicely. Uh, I'll just turn my lights back on. So, two on each side will light up these impulse engines very nicely. Yellow LED in this section to light up. I'm not sure what this pur the purpose of it actually is. Uh, if anyone does stop, please let me know. Um, I've heard lots of different... People have said, oh, it's a sensor array, but that's these parts. 
So no one seems to know what it is and it doesn't mention it in the technical menu manual. Um, but that's about it for now where we are. Um, I'll get them like blocked and then I'll uh, post another update. Thanks.